I got uh, Hollander here uh, from, from an audition uh, here in the house. And then they, they asked me for this and I was of course really happy because I've done so many productions of Dutchman already. And then one month later they asked me also for uh, the Valkyrie Botan. And my agent uh, told them that it, it, he has never done it before. But they didn't feel that there was a, a problem actually. So then I said okay if they ask me for this, if they support me in this, uh, Votan will be a good part for me. But I thought okay I go for it. So I, I had a very very detailed plan how to study this, maybe in another way than normal when you have eight weeks, then you have time to really come into it. But when the premiere was over and I had sang my first live vol in this house, it's a wonderful thing to say that I had my debut as Valkyrie Wotan in this house, absolutely. It started that I played uh, piano with a church musician who was my teacher. I was not at all uh, gifted for that. And then I started to, to play trumpet on the, on the uh, city's music school. We had a lot of them before in Sweden. Uh, I was kind of gifted, but I was also kind of lazy because to stand alone and, and do these galas was not uh, my thing to do. But then when I start to music together with others in small ensembles and so, I understood that music is a thing for me. And then when I started to sing also together with classical music or pop music or something, I understood that I maybe had something in my throat that it was easier to do than to have an instrument in front of me or uh, connected to my lips or whatever. So. Singing has always been a great, great pleasure and, uh, and uh, kind of, I don't want to say easy, because when, when you sing Wagner or Verdi, you, you, you have a challenge, whoever you are. Uh, after this, I uh, educated myself as a social worker, also a military, but then I took a year off from that uh, work, uh, started in a preparation school, went there two years, and then I uh, succeeded to come in to Gothenburg and Copenhagen and Stockholm Opera Academies. I chose Copenhagen and from that I, I just felt that this is my way. Everybody told me that you will sing a lot of Wagner, John. And I, I never understood then what, what it was about, what they meant, but I, I had a powerful voice and I had a voice that could really go through orchestras or, or whatever, a choir or something. Uh, so, so maybe they meant that. And because everybody said that you will sing this, I thought I can, I can wait. I, I decided to do all the Verdis, actually or the valley part. And that was a challenge for me because I was a buffo bass originally. So uh, this, this Verdi part is now so close to my heart because they have helped me to come into this business in a very, very healthy way, in a, in, in a good way. I uh, did a Herufer in Copenhagen, in a Wiederaufnahme, and um, I understood on people's reaction that it was something very special, actually. For me, it felt kind of easy. But then I understood and people made me understand also that I had maybe a very good future in, in Wagner in front of me. Then, as a magic, uh, uh, magic thing, I was asked to do my first Flying Dutchman in Denmark. And uh, I said yes, of course, to do that. And then when I started to study that, I felt people has really tried to to, to make me aware of how dangerous this is, how, how hard this is, how complicated it is, and how, how almost unsingable it is to sing this Wagner. And I, after this Verdi, when I then come down a note actually in Tessitura, and also used what I have from the nature, a very natural uh, bass, uh, bass notes in my voice, it was actually easy. It was easier to sing this than to sing the Verdi things. 
So, uh, so it was a good start and it was a, it's a good idea to start with the Verdi and then uh, go down to these parts actually. I think it's very important to go to yourself to find because Richard Wagner was a human being. I mean, he has written the, the most wonderful music in the world, but he was a human being. He felt love, he felt hate, he felt jealousy, he felt he had, he was married. For me, when, when Frika comes and tell him, you must do this now, after arguing in 20 minutes, then this is a God thing. When she says something, you need to do that. It's not like, oh, she's just my wife, and can, I can divorce and take another one, and I can... Of course, he tried to even cheat her in this. Of course, he cheats himself. Wotan is not an honest person, not at all. You cannot go on stage and play God. I, I cannot, I cannot. I don't know how you do that. Then you, you I think you, you, because you need to have the, the connection to the audience. You cannot play a machine. You will always, if you try to play a machine, you will always be a human who plays a, a machine. 